What about the the casual scene then? Because uh, I know you've been to Italy and that. How did you end up with a connection with the Italians? Well, uh, me and me Cas uh, got got hold of me and through social media. So I didn't do a lot of social media then. And uh, the Lazio boys, because um, the Canio and the West Ham, we got invited out um, for a weekend and uh, a special guest. And uh, their top boys is... God rest his soul, Fabrizio, their number one, was in prison when we went out there. So the the next one down was was running it. And we were guests for the weekend. They took us to uh Juventus at home was the first game and they lost one nil. Uh and we were there for the weekend. They took us to they got their own little clubhouse and all that. And then um Cass only went out there once and he was the first black man to go go in with the let's show because they're the far right ultras. And um, but they treated him with total respect, uh, and then I started going out there because big Alexandra, who I became really close with, um, he's like because well, quite a lot of them West Ham fans. He was a big West Ham fan, so he come over. I took him to Millwall away, and like, and then I went to the Roma derbies, went to a few games at Lazio, then for British show come out, uh, and I finally got to meet him. Loved it, but he didn't speak a word of English. Um, but they're just crazy. And then I got friendly and then it was the last game of the season. They'd done the street party and I had to get on the mic and sing Bubbles. But it's so funny, about 3,000 Italians that all singing, trying to sing, I'm a love Friday, the bubble are in the bubbles. But they got a double decker bus, right? And they'd, they'd all DJs, bars in the street. They shut the road. And on it, they'd like a, a, a London double decker bus with Lazio flags, with in the city firm, all West Ham flags on it. And he went past and all that. And um, and I thought, fuck, I can't speak it's Italian. And he's going, oh, I'll go and talk. And I was just going, Paolo di Canio. And they were going, Paolo di Canio. I couldn't speak a word of Italian, but it was great. And then the last game, that game, was they had in Milan at home. And in Milan, they're like, their cousins. They're, they're, like, they're like connected. Um, obviously, because of the, the ultra thing and, and the, 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 the right with. So, I got introduced to all their top boys, uh, the Inter Milan boys, and they were really top people. They bought me drinks. There was all bars going on the street, the street party, they were there. And then they invited me out to Milan, and I went out there as a guest. I thought, so what? I'm going to go to Milan. Oh, I'd love to go to San Siro. But it was out of season, so I went out there. I had a weekend out there, met a load of their top boys and that, looked after us, went for meals and that. And I thought, I quite like Milan at sea. It's quite... The, the food, it's got a bit of style about it, Milan. And the, and the, obviously, like the San Zero. I and mean, then the next time I went out there, I went to uh, the San Zero. Went to, to the game. I went to, I've been going, I've, I've, I try every year to get out to at least one derby against AC, the Milan derby. Unbelievable. Uh, I went out there when Lazio were at Milan. So when Lazio come up, I, I, I knew the Lazio fans there, their clubhouse. And then they take me into the curve and all, and I go straight to the front, 10,000 fans, stand next to one, and they call me El Capitano. I mean, he's like, you're a superior. And no one else can stand with me. Whoever's with me has to stand away, because if you're a guest, you, you have to stand to the right of the number one. But the, but the end has to be full first, and then you're walked in with him, and you go to the front. It's quite unbelievable. The Italians don't fuck about, they seem well organised, but you go back to the Mafia days, man, in Sicily, and they were always organised, but the, the, the casuals, the ultras, the, the, same, the same as like the Polish they're still and stuff, connected. the Ukrainians, it's, 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 that it's, ultras are mad. They're still connected to the street. Yeah, because when Maradona was at Napoli, yeah. it was the Mafia who was running it. Yeah. And it, it, this, it's, 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 the Mafia runs He was a wee it. fucking gangster. Yeah. Did you ever see him kneeing the fucking, well, one of the players I've or the fans? I've seen him with I've seen him with my own eyes. I've been there. The, the actual Mafia, people like, what it is, they've got their own teams and everything, but like the, the big cities, they're, they're like, they're, they're, it's still, the yeah. street, the street and the terraces run together. Yeah, because when they see Milan, see if they're losing, and they're on a bad run, they'll have to come out and speak to the fucking ultras. Yeah. On the part, the managers that listen. I've been there, the directors come out and uh, and the chairman. And if there's a problem, they have to go. It, it was Franco at the time, he's number one. And I've seen him talking, and he's took me behind the scenes for the directors. I've met the teams, I've met AC in Milan, I've met the AC players, I've met uh, Figo, he's introduced me to Figo and all that. Like, down to him, and he's got that much. He can walk anywhere on the ground. 
And if there's a problem with the fans, they need a, a liaison, and they go to Franco. But he's not number one now, and he would he he, he would sort it out. He was, do you know, he was the in between man as well. Who's That's the top? Number. Who's the top form in Italy? In Italy. Um, it's a Lazio Milan between like Lazio and and Inter. They're both crazy. Uh, but I've been away on away games with with Inter, so I've experienced like the fucking. But like, I wouldn't like to pick, so I'm going to put them on even because they're they're like cousins. Um, Atlanta, I like the Millwall of the Serie A. 20,000, yeah, but they're, they're, they're crazy. But AC Milan, I think, have got a good firm. Uh, Juventus are like the Man United like of the Premier League because they, they, they win everything. There, there's, a, there's, a few, there's a few good firms out there. Verona, uh, I've been there, but yeah. But most of them, most of them have got ultras. Like, they'll, they'll, they'll have ultras, but it's the power of... of, of you know, when you've got like, say, you might have most teams in Italy, the smaller clubs might only have two or three thousand ultras, but you've got like in there, you've got 10, 15,000 will turn up, <laughs> or 20, or 30. It's like you, you just can't see it. Like, you know what I mean? And that shows like that, they're curving old. It's completely packed, and everyone will fight. Mm -hmm. It's just crazy.